That's it for our... Oh. Dude. Hello, Blockineers. We are in Cheyenne, Wyoming, and we're going to show you the fun things you can do here. Our first stop is the Cheyenne Depot Museum. This museum is located within the historic Union Pacific Train Depot, the last remaining Grand Railroad station on the transcontinental route. This is a model of the Big Boy and it has 9,000 pieces, 90 moving parts, and it took one and a half years to make. Is it gonna explode? What? What? Oh, this is a weight. Oh, okay, so wait, hold on. Okay, let's see if it moves at all. One, two, three. <laughs> it moves! <laughs> it moves ever so slightly. <laughs> 100, yeah! Oh my goodness! Brio. We're building this. This track is so cool. Look at this. I know. I've seen it. Whee! On the second floor is a model railroad. And that is the Cheyenne Depot Museum. My favorite part was controlling the train. My favorite part was the model railroad exhibit, especially since it was interactive. And downstairs, there were also interactive exhibits like the weight scale. On to the next stop. Our next stop is Cowgirls of the West Museum. Founded in 1995, this museum honors women who contribute greatly to Western culture and history. This looks like a real person, actually, when I walked over the corner. And also it says, Cali Donations! I get donations! They use the donations to get cows! Yeah! This also looks like a real person type. Because one time when I went around Two times when I went around the corner, I thought that was a real person. This is an old washing machine, and brother's gonna wash cow with it. Now we're at Nelson Museum of the West. This museum features Western history exhibits, Western art, and artifacts. <laughs> We're on the second floor and there are many animal displays. Look at this bear. He has a, look at his tail. It's like a stuffed animal yeah. tail. It's like so fuzzy. Catalina! I wish Happy came on this trip. We didn't have space in our suitcase, and he's super big, so we didn't bring him on this trip. But if he was here, he could be next to Happy, or the other Happy. Look, the snout is the same size as cow moose, you see? These are spurs and they were originally designed to assist the rider with controlling the horse. And then it says they developed into an art form and many were made in prison. I got spurs that jingle, jingle, jingle. I like guns when I locked up. I don't like when they shoot. Now we're going down to the basement. <laughs> These are all the Oklahoma outlaws, and look at that picture on the top right. <laughs> 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 
We just walked across the street and now we're checking out the Military Memorial Museum. If you pay for the Nelson Museum of the West, then the admission includes the Military Memorial Museum. This museum collects uniforms and firearms from the Civil War and beyond. These are the medals you can get in the military after fighting. For example, here's the Vietnam Campaign, Korean Service Medal, United Nations Medal, and then there's a purple heart here if you get injured. Here are uniforms and you can see many patches on each of them. For example, this one has the Korean flag symbol, so that's probably the Korean War. What's this? This one? Okay, well that's the Nazi flag. Look, if you compare these two, this one is a much simpler uniform. And here, this is Afghanistan. They have so much gear, camouflage here, and then a huge machine gun. They're much more equipped in this one. Oh, it says try me on, okay. It weighs three pounds, so can you actually try it? You can, right? Sure, yeah. Okay, here, go. This is a three pound helmet. Three pounds may not sound like much, but imagine wearing that heavy thing on your head all day. Okay, so here this guy doesn't have much experience in the battlefield. This one has some experience, and look at this guy smoking a pipe. Look how many he has. All of these uniforms are original except for the five-star generals of the U.S. Army in World War II. We just checked out three museums in downtown Cheyenne, and we learned a lot of history and saw many cool artifacts. My favorite was the Nelson Museum of the West because I got to see a lot of animals and paintings from all around my house. My favorite was the Military Memorial Museum because I never knew that all of the military officers and those people collected badges. That seems kind of cool. And I saw the uniforms of many people that I recognize, like Eisenhower, as well as new people like the guy smoking the pipe. And the Cowgirl Museum was fun as well. That one's free. There's like a one hour film you can watch if you have time. And we especially liked watching cow moo. <laughs> now let's go to Terry Bison Ranch. We finally reached Terry Bison Ranch. We've been waiting for this place the whole trip because when we called them before coming to Wyoming, they placed us on hold for 20 minutes so we heard their theme song uh, that goes like, the west, the way you want it. Terry Bison Ranch. The west, the way you want it. Terry Bison Ranch. The west, the way you want it. Terry Bison Ranch. I'm gonna hop onto a bison. Getting back to nature was never so much fun, so much to do for everyone. Do you want to see what bison looks like? Eight times. Oh, bison meat. Here at Terry Bison Ranch, you can also do horseback riding. Now we're going on the bison train tour. There's the feet. These are what we're gonna feed the bison. All of a sudden, it started to pour. The rain has stopped. So much to do for everyone. The West, the way you want it. Terry Bison Ranch.
Hi, Terry. And that's the train ride at Terry Bison Ranch. My favorite part was being able to feed the bisons, of course, because not everyone actually got to do that. And it was very cool because the tongue actually touched like the top of the train. And I even got a pet. Of course, the best part was feeding the bisons, but the train ride itself was fun too. It, it, it wasn't too slow, it wasn't too fast, and the rain made it so much more memorable. I mean, without the rain, this train ride would still be awesome, but now I'm gonna remember it way more. And that's it for Cheyenne, Wyoming. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye. Bye.